Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 video and today we're doing a sort of another continuation of a video I did quite a while ago, I think it was a few weeks ago, where I tested how far away Uranus would have to be to survive a supernova, so yeah, one of you guys commented, um, you know who you are, so many many thanks to you, yeah, but you know who you are, so we're going to test how far away the inner planets have to be to survive a supernova, so this should get pretty interesting, like these guys must be, may have to be really really far away to survive a supernova like first off though we will start with an alpha centauri supernova just to see if that would affect our system in any way just uh let's do this so yes yeah, just do that and anyways, while i'm setting this up guys many many thanks to everyone who subscribed recently we are so close to 1500 like we only hit 1000 not that long ago and we're already at 1.5 or almost at 1.5 like this is just insane just cannot thank you guys enough and i reckon if we're lucky we may be able to get 1.6 or 1.7 by the end of this year or by the end of this month maybe if we're lucky so Anyways, Alpha Centauri is, is it 3.7 or 4.7? Like, I think it's 4.7. Um, wait, let me research that. I can never remember Alpha Centauri. It's, I'm sure it's 4.7 light years. Let me just quickly check. Anyway, so just bear with me here. So, yes. Yeah, yay. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, anyways, let's um, quickly search this up. So, Alpha Centauri. Yeah, my mind is just so broken right now, guys. I'm sorry, but yeah. I should know this. I'm... So it's 4.3, not 4.7, it's 4.3 light years, I don't remember now. So, yeah, 4.3 light years, so we're going to put you there, then we're going to blow you up. So, we're going to tools, explode, and Alpha Centauri, goodbye. So, now we're going to see if this supernova affects our solar system in any way. So, let's have a look. So, Alpha Centauri is somewhere, but yeah, if we speed up time, we should be able to see that bad boy a little more. So, where is it? Alpha Centauri, where you at? There it is, you can see the explosion over there, so... Let's, um, let's go and have a look from Earth, because obviously you would see this from Earth. So if Alpha Centauri was to blow up right now, we would probably see it in the night sky pretty quickly. So if we just um, stay around Earth for a bit, there's the Nova. So it's getting bigger and bigger, as you can see here. But we're going to just keep going and see how fast it can actually run. So let's just keep spinning here and just wait for it to um, arrive. Because I reckon it, it will it will go into the services, but I reckon because the um, material is so spread out now, it's probably cooled down a lot, so it probably won't heat up many of the objects, but could be wrong, so... Let's have a look here. So, the furthest objects out are probably these guys, or the ones closest to the Nova. Are these, and their temperature is still staying really cold, but we have to wait till the Nova actually arrives, since it's still still coming slowly but surely. So, it takes it a few years to actually get here. Look, I can see I'm playing it at a few years a second here. So, it will take years and years for this Nova to actually reach the solar system anyway. And by that time, it's probably cooled down a lot and lost a lot of the energy it started off with. So, probably won't affect us. So, am I right or not? So... Well, the system is almost getting to get engulfed with this, so just keep speeding up a little further. Come on, go a little further. Or is it not going to get any bigger? Maybe it just ends there. Look, you can see here, the um, radius is slowing down, in, or its increase is slowing down. So it's only taken, it 80, or it's taken about 80 years, and the solar system isn't really even inside it. So is it even going to do anything, or is that it? Wow, it looks like it isn't going to engulf the solar system. Maybe it just stops at... About 14 light years in size. We're still getting slightly bigger, but it's not really expanding out as much as it did when it started off. So interesting. That, that is interesting. See, it doesn't. Yeah, see, Jupiter's getting colder here right now. Like, yeah, nothing's happening. But we can um, quickly just go and play other settings here just to check. So we can just speed it up really, really fast just to see if anything happens. We'll turn this off. Oh, so it is okay. It still is expanding out just slightly. Whoa, what is going on here? What the heck is going on here? Well, I guess you don't play the settings, but as you can see, it doesn't really matter if the solar system's together or not. The objects here are not getting affected by this supernova at all. Like, you can see Mercury, like, the temperatures in all these objects haven't hasn't even increased. So, I'm going to go and debunk that. Uh, if Alpha Centauri exploded, its nova would not harm us in any way, according to this simulation and what it's done. So, yeah, there's that. But anyways, let's go back into the solar system now. So we got to test how the objects will survive if the sun was to explode. So the suns are obviously a lot, lot closer. So if we just go and explode the sun here, all the inner planets and the, in the, and the, like, on, and the asteroid belt, they just vaporise into nothingness. Like, you can see there. And then all the gas giants survive. Uranus doesn't, though, sadly. So, yeah, we're going to have to go and open this again. So, Uranus and Neptune, or Ur Uranus and Planet Nine, they survive from the distance of about Pluto. So we're gonna we're gonna start off at um, at the sort of distance Pluto is. So if we just go ahead and place, so Earth, Mars, 
Venus and Mercury in the area of where Pluto is. And then we blow up the sun. Let's see if they're going to explode or get destroyed or not. So, sun, sun, please, blow up. Sun, what are you doing? Oh, is it, is it blowing up? Come on, explode. There we go. All right, so, I play. Oh, I had to play. Okay. Oh, we've got a nice blue supernova this time. So, yeah, there's our nova. So, all oh, the dwarf planets out here, or not the dwarf planets, the inner planets out here are already heating up. So, Pluto, Venus, Mercury, Mars, and then we've got Earth as well. But is the Nova going to destroy them or not? This, this, this should be interesting. So, let's see here. So, these dwarf planets are getting heavily damaged by this. They're probably losing a bit of material. But are the planets going to survive this? It looks like. Are they going to make it? Oh, wow. This is going to be interesting if they do. Oh, oh, uh, okay. Well, apparently Venus did but everything else didn't that makes no sense because earth is bigger it has more radius mass so i don't know how venus survived that but okay, apparently venus survives there let's go let's go test that again we'll go to a, just a plain solar system just see if it makes a difference here so just going to the regular solar system let's go all the way out here back to the pluto so let's put the guys in here so put uh, venus and we go earth mars they're all in the same proximity so then Mercury. So they're all in the same proximity. So if we go back to the sun now, then we go and let's remove all the asteroids. So then if we go and blow the sun up again, so do that, hit play. So there's our Nova. We've got a nice red one this time. So here are our objects, and it looks like already they're getting vaporized. So we've got Mercury here, it's lost radius, Pluto as well, obviously. Venus. Yeah, Venus is going down. Earth. Looks like Earth gets destroyed quicker than Venus does. That is interesting. That is interesting. Is it due to density, maybe? I, I don't know. And then we've got Mars, yeah, they're all gone, but is Venus... See, Venus is really weird. Is Venus glitched or something? So it did lose mass this time, but it's, it, it actually survived. That is very peculiar. Let's just try just, let's just try it with a Venus. Let's see if maybe because we maybe if you put too many objects down, it breaks it or something, because that is weird. So let's go, let's go back to Pluto again. Let's go and place a Venus right there, so right in the proximity of um, Pluto. Now we're going to blow the sun up again. Let's see if Venus survives. So let's um, go to the sun. Let's delete the asteroids. So sun, yeah, I think I selected it. Explode. So now Venus. So let's keep an eye on you. Are you going to survive? So play. All right, so the Nova is coming. All right, there we go. And no, so Venus looks like it survives here in this part of the solar system. That is very, very weird. How does, how does Venus beat Earth? That is, that's very, very strange. So... Let's try going out to the orbit of, hmm, let's go to this one here, so this dwarf planet here. So it's a lot further away than Pluto is. Let's try here. So we found out where Venus survives. So we'll put Earth, Mars, and then Mercury down. And we'll obviously put Venus for comparison as well. So we're going to put that there. So we're all in that area of the system. Now we're going to blow the sun up again. So let's see if, it, let's see if Earth can survive. Because if Venus can survive there, surely Earth can survive a little further out over here. So let's see. So we've got another red supernova. Right, so Earth is the main, um, the main show of this supernova. So let's see what happens. Yeah, it looks like Venus is glitched, right, in this. Because it's very, very strange how, as you can see here, when the sun explodes, all the planets start to go off in their own direction. As you can see, like... Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, they're all heading out in their own directions. Pluto as well. But if we go to here, Venus is going in a different direction to all of the other objects in the area. So, yeah, why is it going this way? Is that uh, is Venus glitched? I, I want to say Venus is broken or something because it shouldn't do that. Because that makes no sense. Because all of the other objects of that or in this area all started heading in all started heading this direction. So, why did Venus suddenly go a different direction? That is very, very weird. Maybe I just need to play the simulation a bit before we actually do the supernova. So, we'll try that again. So, let's just go back to that dwarf planet again. So, let's go back over here. Now, I'm just going to test this with Venus. And as you saw, all the other inner planets didn't survive either. So, we're going to put Venus there. Right, now we want it to auto-orbit around the sun. So, it can, so, we can actually see if it's orbiting. So... Okay, so it is orbiting the sun. Now let's blow the sun up and let's see if Venus will survive or do anything. So blow the sun up again. Okay, so here's Venus. Okay, so let's check on you. Okay, so anything going to happen? So let's have a look. And again, it's just... It's, it's going off in its own direction, I believe. It is. That's so strange. And then Venus survived. That is very, very peculiar, if you ask me. That is... That's pretty weird. But anyways, let's keep going. So let's go to where Sedna is in its current position. Let's just try over here. So this this distance is 
519 astronomical units. So comparing that to last round, so if we go back to um, that one over there, so last time it was 43. So we're increasing that number quite a bit. So oh no, no is, that, is that where it is right now? I don't know. If, no, I don't think I don't think that number's right actually in, in its current location. So all right, let's try again. So let's put um, let's yeah, let's put Venus. So Venus. There's Earth, Mars, and then Mercury. So they're all in the same proximity again. So, right, let's try it now. So let's go over here. Now, Sedna does usually survive. So I'm get the inner planet should do it no problem since they are bigger than um, bigger than Sedna. So okay, let's try this. So the sun's gone. We've got a nice red nova again. So Sedna is warmed up, but is it actually getting vaporized? See, it looks like no. It looks like they're going to survive. Okay, so Mercury's doing good. Mars. Uh, they're all doing fine. So if we keep, if we just speed it up, so the Nova actually comes over here. So if it, if it would come over here, please come on. Yeah, okay. They're still inside the Nova now, and nothing is happening. It looks like no, it looks like they're fine. And v but Venus again goes off in its own direction. That is very very mysterious. If anyone knows why it's doing that, please say. But I think that's just a problem with the game, if you ask me, because all of the objects all go off in their own directions. But Venus, on the other hand, just goes in the direction that doesn't match the pattern of any of the other ones so that is very very peculiar but yeah so earth and all of the other inner planets and venus probably would as well survive from the distance of sedna so now we need to move it a little closer to the sun and see if it will um survive from there so if we go to iris is that closer to the sun right now well let's put iris at its closest point to the sun so if we go on orbits here so yeah let's um move it over here a bit so its closest point to the sun is there so you know that's a little too that's i think that's i still think that's a little too close so if we put it down here so this object right now core 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 so that is at a 285 year orbit if we do iris if we just change its settings a bit go back to this so 310 years orbit compared to um coral which is only 286 so this is slightly further than that one or that other dwarf planet is right now so let's try it from here so go earth venus why do i even try venus it never works and then and then mercury so let's put them over there earth and venus are a little too close to my liking so we're just going to go ahead and move them a bit right now let's go all the way over here back to the sun again and let's try again so tools explode then we've got the sun so let's go over here back to the um objects so where, wherever they are, where are they um objects wait where are they um where, where's iris gone actually where'd they go oh, oh, oh over here okay so hit play right let's see this time so oh that, they've gone into some weird orbits but it still works as long as these don't touch so well, there's a lot of debris going on over there all right so Venus or Mercury, Earth. Okay, they're looking good. They look, they've got. They're looking strong. I don't think they're gonna go. Okay, Earth is surviving, but Mercury is losing a bit of material there. So, okay, what's going on here? So, yeah, Venus is still the same. Mercury is losing a bit of material. You can see it's losing. There's some. It's smoking up a bit. And then Mars, you're doing good as well. So there's Earth, but Iris did disappear. Oh no, we did. Earth did just lose a bit of mass. Look. It's slightly smaller in size and it's and that's mass is the same but it lost one kilometer in radius so looks like that's the oh oh okay well that just happened well it looks like we just need a little more time and it blew them up no problem so interesting so where can we try now let's try from where iris usually is and it's all so let's try it let's try it here so we'll go yeah, we won't even try Venus, because Venus seems to not work every time. So, Earth, Mars, and then Mercury over there. We'll quickly... Yeah, we'll just we'll just go ahead and delete Iris, since we don't need it. And then Mars, we will just move slightly further this way. So, they're all in the distance of where Iris usually starts in the default simulation. So, let's uh, delete the um, stupid asteroids. Alright, so now let's um, zoom in here. Let's go Tools, and explode. Blow the sun up again. But let's slow down time a bit. So, hit play. So, there's our Nova. Right, Earth, are you going to survive this time? Oh, it's okay, it's taking a beating, but is it going to survive? So Mars, okay, Mars just looks like it's going to do it. Mercury, hmm. Okay, let's keep going here. Let's speed up as fast as we can. Are they going to make it? So Mars, so they are losing lots of material. You can see all of this material they're losing. Earth is, seems to be doing fine, though. Okay, interesting, so let's keep going. And now Earth's going in a different direction. That's very, very strange why it's doing that. So... That is, that is very weird, but yeah, there we go, so, that is very strange, but yeah, so it looks like they survived that one, they all survived that. 
Okay, so interesting. So now we're just to work out the exact point of where they do survive. So let's just go and add an earth in at a random point. So Iris is usually there. So let's try from let's try from this location here. Let's try from about 65 astronomical units. So let's try let's try here. So we'll put Earth and then we'll get Mars also in that area. So Mars and then Mercury as well. Um, I guess we can have Venus, even though it's not going to do anything. So we've got all those four again. They're all orbiting the sun, as you can see in their in their orbit there. So now let's go to the sun. Let's blow it up again. So let's see if let's see if they'll survive at this distance. They're a little closer than the Iris, but they're a little further out than the rest of like the Kuiper Belt objects. So could be interesting. Let's blow it up again. So there we go. We've got a nice blue over this time. So let's head to the Earth here. Now let's see what goes on here. So okay. Oh, looks like they are surviving as well. Mercury, uh, Mars, okay, they're doing good. Huh, interesting, so they're surviving as well, but Mercury did lose one kilometer radius. It was at, I think it's at 2400 originally, now it's at 2439, so that's good. And uh, Mars, you doing all right, buddy? Okay, Mars is looking normal. Oh, I added two Mercury's in, whoops. <laughs> oh, well, so, look, it looks like they made it, so they survived. We'll speed it up just to um, confirm. And there you go. So they all survived from that distance. So looking in good. So now let's try it from the outside of the Kuiper Belt. So let's try. So last time we did it about 65. So let's try it from 53. So let's just. So we're about 10 astronomical units closer. Let's see if those 10 numbers make a difference. So let's go and do that. And then we've got Mars and then Mercury too. So let's put you guys in there. So they're all orbiting as we can see, like that. So. Let's go to the sun again. And tools explode. Blow the sun up again. So there we go. We've got a giant nova. All right, let's check on them now. So, right. Okay, are they going to... Oh, Mercury's gone. We've lost Mercury. So, oh, Mars, Mars is barely... Wow, Mars lucky. So this is the exact point of where Mars would survive, as we can see here. So, yeah, Mars would just about survive at this exact number here. So... Wait, wait. Oh, it's not orbiting anything. But you saw it was about 53 astronomical units away from the sun. That is where Mars survives the supernova. So, interesting to know. Earth is completely fine. I don't know. Wait, it lost one kilometer. Its mass is still the same. Venus is just... I don't even I don't even care Venus anymore. Um, yeah, but Venus is there. So, Earth can still... We can still put Earth closer. So, Mercury survives about 65 AU. Maybe a little closer. And then Mars survives at 53 AU. But now, we've got to go a little closer. So... Let's try removing another 10 AU and going to 43 AU. Let's try it from that distance. So let's go all the way out here. So 43, 43, 47, 46, 45. So 43. So let's try it from here. So we'll just do it with Earth this time. To so explode the sun. To so blow you up. We've got a nice pinky coloured one. So Earth. Right, let's head to you. Let's see if you survive, buddy. And is it going to do it? And it's gone. So Earth's gone. So we need to go a little further out. So let's try 50. Well, so it survived at 53, so, and we just did 43. So let's do it in the midpoint of about 47, somewhere around that. So 47 AU. So let's see if that little extra distance helps. So then we'll go to tools, explode, sun. There you go. So let's see if it will survive from here. Is it going to make it? Is it going to make it? Oh, it looks like it. Oh, uh, there you go. So I, I did, did my math good there. So halfway between those two. So 167. So Earth made it. So... That is the distance, so Mercury survives at about 63 AU, Mars survives at about 53, and then Earth survives at about 48, I think it was. So there's your results, and then Venus, we don't know, because Venus won't work properly. Venus is bad. So, yeah, I don't know what's up with Venus, but there you go, guys. So there are the results of today's tests. So, interesting stuff. So Earth at 48 AU, Mars at 53, and then Mercury at 65, if you didn't hear that. So... There is that, but anyways, I think to end this off, while I'm doing my little outro, we're going to bully Venus, because Venus is bad, so we've got we got to take it out. So, yeah, anyways, many thanks to you guys um, watching the video, hopefully you all enjoyed, and make sure, if you haven't already, subscribe and leave a like and all that good stuff, and yeah, help us on the journey to 1,500, because we are almost there, and wow, we are just increasing so fast, just cannot thank you guys about enough, but anyways... Anyway, for that out of the way, let's go and end Venus with Earth. Earth, get your revenge, buddy. Venus beat you earlier, so... Earth, there you go. There's Venus dead. 
yeah, Venus deserved that. So Venus is now just fragments everywhere, all falling back to Earth. So, yeah, Venus got its punishment. But anyways, yeah, there you go, go guys. So, yeah, Venus is gone. And there you go. So, yeah, hopefully you all enjoyed. And, yeah, make sure you have a good day. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.